Minivans are one of the best foundations for starting a minimalist, no-build camper van conversion. In this video, we'll look at what minivan camping is, what the advantages and disadvantages are, and dive into some of the frequently asked questions of minivan life. In your everyday life, driving down the road, going into a parking lot at a giant store, have you ever looked at a minivan and thought to yourself, there's someone camping in there? This is an idea that probably never occurs to anybody, particularly outside of big cities. This is because the modern minivan is virtually unnoticeable. Even with a small rack, or in my case, a solar panel, the minivan never draws attention. For this reason, I prefer minivan camping over full-size vans. I have mentioned the solar panel and awning to my friends in casual conversation and watched their heads explode. Mind blown. They never notice it unless I point it out to them. When considering some of the advantages and disadvantages of minivan camping, I will use a full-size van as a comparison. Minivans can go anywhere a car can go, including parking garages. And as previously noted, they are unnoticeable. Full-size vans with high tops sometimes have difficulty getting into parking garages. Additionally, they are becoming more noticeable as potential dwellings for van lifers. One big advantage is that minivans are typically much more efficient with some newer hybrids achieving as much as 40 miles per gallon. Minivans are usually much cheaper than full-size vans overall. In my experience, this was a vehicle I already had, and I'll discuss that a little later. The number one disadvantage of a minivan over a full-size van is that space is limited and cargo requirements can increase exponentially with the size of your party. If you are comfortable taking a minimalist approach to minivan life, then this is not a big problem. And as Tyler Durden once said, the things you own end up owning you. So from my perspective, less is more. If you are comfortable thinking of your cargo space in your minivan as more of a bedroom than a home, then you can free up a lot of space. I have never been in a situation where the lack of a sink has ruined my day. If you are doing minivan life long term or have limited mobility, this is a significant consideration. There are plenty of minivans that do have sinks. It's just not something that I currently have the desire for. Furthermore, long-term minivan camping can be tricky with pets and children. Temperatures can reach extremes in the summer and winter and quickly become dangerous to our small friends, if not carefully monitored and protected. When my family comes along, we always augment our space with a tent and other camping amenities. You may ask yourself, why would anyone want to choose this minivan life over living in a home or renting an apartment or in my case staying in a hotel while i'm traveling well for some this is not a choice but a reality that some minivan dwellers have arrived to through financial necessity some of you already have your small vehicle or minivan from the demands of raising your children or shuttling your grandchildren around and now that the responsibility of raising children has started to diminish, you have that block of clay ready to mold into your adventure wagon. Enjoy. This gives you the flexibility to travel with a low budget and even visit those kids or grandkids in the dorm rooms when they're off to college. If you choose, you can forego the financial drain of fast food and restaurants while you're traveling. And in addition to that, you can optimize your minivan for either solo travel or traveling as a couple and see many sites that if you were stuck in a hotel, you would not be able to see. In my case, this is the perfect mode to travel at a low cost for short periods. I can quickly set up my no-build minivan camper conversion, go on my trip, and then return home and get back to business. So where do I park? Pretty much anywhere a car can legally park. The two things that come to mind are, first, being hidden in plain sight. I don't have van life stickers and I certainly do not set up my awning on city streets. From the outside, it looks like just a plain family hauler. Second is out of sight, out of mind. 
I consider my arrival and departure times to minimize visibility. I also typically park and take a walk around the block. It's good to see and hear your surroundings before bedding down. Occasionally, I stop in campgrounds. These are the most comfortable because you can go full setup with camping accessories and really stretch out. I frequently get asked, what are the minimum requirements to go minivan camping? Well, I would say you can start with a minivan and possibly even an SUV or a large car. You don't need a fancy bed, you don't need anything fancy except for the vehicle itself. Try it out and if it is something that you feel comfortable doing, then make those investments in more equipment and furniture for your setup. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next adventure.